this is my third time trying to film this video what's up guys welcome to my channel today i have a very very interesting video prepared for y'all ranking fate the wing saga characters i watched season two it just came out if y'all if you haven't seen it it's on netflix season one and two is on netflix season two just came out at the end of september so y'all can watch all the episodes i'm gonna be saying some spoilers in this video so spoiler alert just beware beware i really enjoyed season two compared to season one season one wasn't bad but my expectations weren't that high for season two but they blew me away and netflix still has not renewed them where's season three we need to know that season three is coming y'all cannot end it the way i ended y'all there's gonna be spoilers in this video so disclaimer before we get into the video make sure y'all like and subscribe and also comment after this video down below which other shows you guys want me to rank the characters from so leave them in the comments i'm gonna be ranking just the main cast so from one to ten it's gonna be beatrix flora aisha tara musa stella riven sky and dane just the main characters i'm not gonna be doing the side characters we're not doing the headmaster we're not doing sky's dad no coming in at number 10 y'all the bottom and this is again based on season two 10 is gonna be dane i'm sorry dane he had me in the first half season one i liked his character a lot you know i'm always here for a awkward you know socially awkward anxious you know character i'm into that especially because you get to see their growth later on in whatever show it is now he did flip this season season two he started the season off you know as a douchebag okay this is very this is this is okay but throughout the season i thought they were gonna take it further i don't think they developed his storyline that well this season they could have done way better with Dane. he didn't meet my expectations he's at number 10 coming in at number nine is sky now by no means was sky a terrible character this season honestly it was interchangeable it was either him or riven that were going to be number nine but sky is at number nine because i liked his storyline with his dad coming back you know seeing him struggle with that it was very just there he was he was there for me you know he's okay sky you know he was just there after that you know they didn't really do much with his character other than like obviously expand upon his relationship with bloom but i mean again he is really he wasn't giving that much this season it was it was, it was giving forgettable so sky don't take it personal you at number nine coming in at number eight i just said it riven it was a toss-up him or sky it was gonna be i'm gonna just put inter interchangeable number eight and number nine riven surprised me season one he probably would have been at number 10 season one season two just to see him slowly start a relationship outside of his little threesome triangle he had with beatrix and dane just to see him get into slowly becoming his own person outside of that i loved that i love that they did that i was hoping they, they were gonna do that after season one i was like he cannot stay like this forever because he uh -uh. seeing him and him developing a slowly developing a relationship with musa like yes and him being like his, his her trainer like at the end like i love that keep it going riven you surprised me so you at number eight coming in at number seven y'all again this was also very hard coming in at number seven bloom now bloom she's really low i know probably y'all probably like girl what bloom she's the main character she needs to be higher okay bloom don't get me wrong i loved her coming into her own slowly obviously in the beginning of season two she she kind of struggled but i loved that they made her come into her own how passionate she is about taking care of the people she loves i loved that but again it didn't really surprise me she just didn't do anything that surprised me this season so that's why she's at number seven um and i'm really excited because at the end of season two again spoiler alert at the end of season two they showed her in the darkness realm which if y'all watch the original winks dark bloom dark 
bloom i'm ready to see what they do with dark bloom in the live action like her character is just gonna go up and up and up coming in at number six is tara now tara little disclaimer before we get into tara i loved her dynamic with flora again spoiler alert who is the newest addition to the winx in season two i love her dynamic with her seeing her struggle with somebody who for the first time is more put together than she is because in the group tara was you know she's the brains she's you know super calculated seeing her dynamic with flora flora who seemed to be even more put together than tara she was super smart super independent seeing tara kind of struggle with that and then she came out i loved um i loved how natural it was when she announced to the girls that she was coming out i loved how natural it was it wasn't forced i wish they did give her more time to develop obviously like give her over the course of more episodes to develop within herself coming to terms with this seeing that struggle i feel like they kind of rushed it but i love that for her i love that for tara so coming in at number five is stella stella you were really close you know what if you would have asked me who was going to be the ranked number 10 at the beginning of season two stella would have been at the bottom stella was very boring she wasn't giving me anything at the beginning of season two. However, the dynamic between her and Beatrix, the writers, way to turn it around for Stella. I loved that. I loved seeing her dynamic with somebody who also was kind of damaged, had family issues. They could, you know, console each other. I loved seeing that. It's a shame what happened at the end of the season against spoiler y'all but that's what saved stella i loved seeing her also stand up to her mother in the court that that they had for bloom that was great for her character development so stella she kind of gave me like a you know whiplash because i was like no and then i was like yes and then i was like but then i'm like yes so stella you at number five coming in at number four is musa now musa this season was very very impressive to me i loved seeing her struggle within her relationship you know she started to try to like calm people down when they actually needed to go off even aisha was like are you sure that's are you sure that's a good thing to be doing seeing her struggle with that and then ultimately at the end seeing her willingly forfeit her powers that was very sad but that was very interesting i thought she was just gonna be on an upward trend you know because season one she didn't really know how to handle her powers she didn't really know how to use them in a way that would help others she kind of just saw them as a burden but seeing her go further down this season was really shocking like i did not expect her to struggle even more than she did in season one but i do like that she is you know trying to be a specialist trying to train so i'm really excited for her storyline there's so much they can do with her power number one and with her storyline number two so musa she impressed me so she's at number four all right y'all we're at the final three coming in at number three we got aisha my girl and shout out we got the same hairstyle like she had the same exact hairstyle as me this season i was like okay coming in at number three is aisha again also surprised me I thought she was gonna also be on an upward trend like she was just gonna be getting better and better she kind of struggled a little bit obviously she developed a new relationship that she wasn't really comfortable with and I was like okay that's really you know it's expected because she was always kind of just sheltered and closed but to see what happened at the end of the season how she lost his trust and how she dealt with that I really really loved that and also I love one thing I love about Aisha is her like ability to keep the group together i love that it's a little different from the aisha in the show the aisha in the show was definitely more extroverted outgoing hey girl hey this hey that the aisha in the live action is definitely flipped she's definitely more shy you know quiet it works you know what she's at number three because she never disappoints her character never disappoints me coming in at number two now some of y'all might be shocked 
but for my friends on Twitter, this should not shock you. Beatrix. This season, she was up, she was down, she was high, she was low. I loved, loved, loved her storyline this season. It's always kind of like a gray area with Beatrix. People don't know whether to trust her or to not trust her. She was kind of very wishy-washy, just like in season one. And boy, was it a plot twist this season too when she switched up on everybody. Also, again, if y'all watched, spoiler alert, y'all saw the ending. I that's a whole nother video i am not happy with what happened to her but because of the way she she struggled she could never really find a place to fit you can see even in glimpses when stella was with the winks the other girls she was kind of like the outcast and that's what she always was an outcast but also her relationship with stella which was really surprising to me i didn't expect those two to meet halfway and understand each other they both again were having family issues like they each lended each other their shoulder i loved 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 the chemistry between stella and beatrix beatrix you number two finally we come to number one who's taking the top spot the newest winks took the top spot from y'all Number one is Miss Flora. Absolutely blown away, fell in love with her character. Y'all can fight me. Y'all can, Beatrix should be number one. Beatrix should be, uh, or, or whoever should be number one. I don't care who you think should be number one. Flora blew me away. Coming off, just debuting as the newest character in the show, they introduced her as Tara's cousin. It was whatever, it's, if you're on Twitter, you know how hard we fought for Flora. You know, you know how hard we fought for Flora to be in this show. They try to play us with Tara. Don't do it. Flora was amazing. I love her character, her personality, easygoing, calm and collected. She was even willing to sacrifice herself at the end. She was super chic, super cool. Her like spunky attitude she was just amazing this season shout out to paulina chavez she plays flora you did a great job coming into an already established group flora can we talk about her speech to aisha that speech that is exactly what aisha needed to hear she was telling her let people in don't push everyone away it's who we are y'all I, I i started to watch the show and i was like why is she making season two better? Why is the newest fairy on the block owning this season? She was chewing everybody this season. It's also gonna be great to see how she copes in season three because if, again, spoiler alert, at the end of season two, she lost her powers. And I think it's gonna be a struggle for her because throughout the beginning of season two, you could see how in tune she was with her powers, how, how that made her who she was. She always was using her power for good. And for the first time, using her powers for good kind of didn't end well for her. She lost herself. She sacrificed herself, yes, but it ended up costing her her powers. I'm, I'm really excited to see how she copes with her powers and what happened to her. I really want to see how they take that. This is why this is why we need season three. We need season three so we know what happens next. Y'all cannot end the show at season two. I will riot. Netflix, y'all will. I'm under your bed. If y'all cancel this show at season two, watch out. I'm gonna give it to Beatrix. She could have been number one easily, but Flora just coming into the show as a new, a newbie owned it for me. I loved her character. And the fan reception to her also online on Twitter and Insta on Instagram too. A lot of people loved her. She has so many fans already. I'm like, dang, she just came. But I'm like, as she should, cause she's, she owned it. All right, y'all. So that was my video of ranking Fate the Wink Saga characters. I wanna make this a series. So leave down below which show I should do next, which characters I should rank next. It could be old, it could be new. It could be like say like vampire diaries or it could be new like what's a new show 
Pretty Little Liars Original Sin. I think that's the one I'm gonna do next because I actually watched it like a couple weeks back. Leave down below which show you guys want me to do next, which characters y'all want me to rank next. I had so much fun doing this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials. I'm gonna leave them in the description and I probably might put them on the screen. Hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!